So, Father, in the name of Jesus, I come to you today, Lord God, just to speak your word, God, to say what you would have me to say. It's not me, God. It was you, Lord God. Use your woman servant. Hallelujah. Hide me behind the cross so that only Jesus can be exemplified. God, I'll speak your word the way you want me to speak it, how you want me to speak it, God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And I say amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. And, 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 and you see, as I was sitting over there, I heard the little song coming to me. Create in me a clean heart. Purify me. Purify me. Create in me a clean heart. So that I may worship thee. Cast me not away from thy presence. Please don't take your spirit from me. But restore the joy of salvation. So that I may worship thee. Shall be so create in me a clean heart, purify me, purify me, Lord, create in me a clean heart, so that I, oh, that I may worship thee. Titus 2 and 3. And it reads, The age woman likewise, that they be in behavior as becometh holiness, not false accusers, not given to much wine, teachers of good things, that they may teach the young women to be sober, to love their husbands, to love their children, to be discreet, chaste, keepers at home, good, obedient to their own husbands, that the word of God may not be blasphemed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And so, as I looked at the word, hallelujah, and I read it, I said, okay, God, exactly what's, 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 what's going on with this? Well, this young man by the name of Titus was one of the disciples for, for uh, Paul. He was one of the men that worked with Paul, hallelujah. And uh, Paul had been in, in, in Corinth, and he had wrote some strong letters to, to the church of Corinth, and, and he was worried about how the people were acting, hallelujah. And, and, and he wanted Titus uh, uh, to go and check on him. Hallelujah, because he said, I know, I know I wrote a letter that was very strong. Hallelujah, and I don't know how they were going to take it. It was a lot of negative uh, 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 feedback coming. Hallelujah, Titus, so I need you to go over there and, and check it out. Hallelujah. And so Titus, being who he is, he went over there just to uh, uh, let his bishop know. Hallelujah. Hey, uh, uh, uh. They're handling the word. And, I, and I'm going to teach them. And so I'm, I'm going to read this stuff and, and let them know that, you know, there are many people in the church and they need to know how to behave. Not just the women in the church, but the men know, need to know how to behave. The children need to know how to behave. The preachers need to know how to behave in the church. Hallelujah. And so I said, well, 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 behaving holy. Hmm. Okay. Well, what about behavior? And so the dictionary said it's a manner of conducting yourself the way in which you should function appropriately. You need to know how to act like you're supposed to act. Amen? Amen. And then so I said, well, well holiness. And so the words the, uh, uh, in the Webster Dictionary said, holiness is the quality or state of being holy or being sanctified, godliness to be devoted. Hallelujah. 
And I said, well, as I was reading it, it said they need to be discreet. Uh, so being discreet is uh, showing a discernment or good judgment in conduct, especially in speech. Now, every time I've always thought about being discreet, I never thought about speech. We always think that when you're discreet, that's whatever you're doing, you hide behind the door. Amen? But I'm here to tell you today that that's not about hiding behind the door. It's what's coming out of your mouth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And, 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 and see, and conducting yourself in a way. Hallelujah. Never in the whole scripture did you see Jesus uh, saying stuff that was unholy. Never did you hear him say, um, you need to get about my face. Hallelujah. hallelujah. Even when Brother Peter was cutting up, hallelujah, and whacked the man's ear off, Brother Peter, he still didn't say anything that wasn't discreet. Hallelujah. He watched his speech, and when the things that came out of his mouth was blessings and blessings and blessings, hallelujah, there wasn't curses, it was blessings. Hallelujah. So what is it that's coming out of your mouth? As women in the church, woman to woman, what is it that you're saying? Because the words that you say can cut. Hallelujah. Down to the bone. Hallelujah. It can cut you. Hallelujah. To the point that you'll never recover. Hallelujah. I give you the example of me being in the sixth grade. Hallelujah. And I was at the chalkboard doing math and my math teacher hallelujah told me you know that's what's wrong with you girls all of you girls need to know that you will never be a scientist you'll never be a mathematician that you just need to stay at home and have babies and cook and clean that's what you need to do that cut me like a knife Hallelujah. That hindered me from understanding math. Because when I would attempt to do the math problems, then I, I, I had issues. I couldn't understand. Hallelujah. It took me to be 40 years old in college with the teacher using psychology on me. And she said, Gloria, I want you to sit there and I want you to tell me what has happened to you? You know, why is it you don't like math? I said, but I do love, I love math. She said, you love it? I said, I love math. But everything I don't understand, I, and, it, and it gets to this one point. And at that point, we were at the point of doing algebra. And I had an issue. So every time I would get a problem with algebra, I had confusion in my mind. Hallelujah. The lights wouldn't come on. Nothing would connect. And so this lady, my, by the name of Miss Guyam, Hallelujah. She sat me down and she took me back. Took me all the way back to that classroom where that teacher spoke those words to me. Hallelujah. And it cut me. It hindered me. It made me shut down so that I couldn't comprehend any longer. Hallelujah. And once the teacher brought it out, I took what the teacher told me. Hallelujah. And I took it back to my elder. Hallelujah. Elder Gloria B. Collins. I took it back to her and I told her, I said, and this is what I learned. And this did And she said, to God be the glory. But I want you to know, Pastor. Hallelujah. I wasn't a pastor then. I was just Sister Gloria. Hallelujah. She said, I want you to know, Sister Gloria, that the word of God says that no weapon formed against you shall prosper. Hallelujah. It's the way you carry yourself. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And so even back then, hallelujah, the word that was said to me whacked me, stopped me. But God said, ah, no, 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 no. Because I've placed my word in you. Hallelujah. I placed my spirit in you. Hallelujah. I touched you and placed you in your mother's womb. Hallelujah. So things may come to you and things may hinder you. Hallelujah. For a moment, but it's only temporary. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. And so I was behaving holy because I took everything back. Anything that anybody had to say to me. Hallelujah. I took it back to my elder for godly counsel. That's the word of God. Hallelujah. To seek godly counsel. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And so what he was saying to me, it wasn't discreet. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And then I looked at the word uh, uh, chastity. And I said, well, you know, chastity, that only speaks of uh, unlawful uh, sexual uh, intercourse. Uh, but uh, as I read on down in the definition, in the Webster Dictionary, it says, pure in thought and act clean. Hallelujah. So in order for us to behave holy, hallelujah, we have to have pure thoughts. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And then the word in there, it said, uh, uh, be obedient uh, to their own husbands. Hallelujah. And I said, now God, why is it that he specifically said to their own husband? Who husband were they looking at? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And if you're going to be holy, and if you're going to be a woman of God, you got to be about your husband and about your husband business. Not Susu husband, uh, and not Bobo that's sitting over there looking at you. Hallelujah. But about your husband. And I don't care how Bobo looks at you. Hallelujah. His intentions are not good. Hallelujah. So you have to be discreet and not say anything uh, unlikely to Bobo, but the blood of Jesus be against you, Satan. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And then, if Bobo keep looking at you uh, like he's stupid, hallelujah, you got to make sure that you go to your own husband and let him know, honey, um, I feel a little bit uncomfortable because you know Bobo keep looking at me. And he looking at me like I ain't even got no clothes on. He looking at me like I'm stupid. And he said something to me. And I told him I wasn't acting like that. But since he want to continue to act on like he acting and do what he doing, I'm coming to you, honey. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And if the husband is going to act like he's supposed to act, Hallelujah. He going to discreetly pull Bobo to the side. Hallelujah. And tell him, Bobo, you looking at the wrong one now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But you have to be, it says, obedient. Hallelujah. But the word of obedience, it says, it's being submissive to restrain yourself. Or command to a command or command uh, 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 of authority. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And uh, people in authority can be in a lot of different positions, not just your husband. Hallelujah. I was in Texas last week, and I told the people in Texas, I said, you know, I said, I, 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 there are times when um, I, I know who I am. Hallelujah. And I know that I'm a very aggressive kind of woman. I'm very bold. And since Jesus has done this thing with me, I'm even bolder. Hallelujah. But I know that I have to uh, behave holy. I have to humble myself. Uh, I have to bring myself under my own subjection to say, and now, God, I know that I am with you. And I am a pastor, so there is a way that I should act and a way that I should not act. And I know that there are times, God, hallelujah, that my husband would really love to be the one to pull out the belt and give me the whipping. Hallelujah. Because I know I can be really strong at times. And so when I get to the point that I am just so out of control, hallelujah, I go to my husband and I tell him, I say, you know, honey, I said, oh, come on, you take a bath with me, let me wash your feet, hallelujah, I don't wash his feet because I like washing his feet, I don't wash his feet because I think he all that, I wash his feet because I know it's an humbling thing for me, it helps me to bring myself back down and to be submissive. Now, if he's not treating you right, it's hard for you to do that. But I want to tell you something, honey. Uh, 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 you might have sweet me. Amen. He, and, and, 
I don't mind cleaning his feet. Hallelujah. Because it lets me get a chance to just make them all pretty and, and tell him how much I love him. We can giggle and laugh. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I love to see him when he slip in the water. Hallelujah. He is so funny. <laughs> Hallelujah. But it's a wonderful thing. I'm behaving holy. I'm humbling myself so that I can be submissive to him. Hallelujah. And you see, women, what I want you to understand that uh, there are many times in your life when you say, yeah, you know, I really want, I want to have me a husband and I, I, I need to have a husband and, 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 and everything. And everything. Uh, do you really need one? Do you know how to act? Can you really humble yourself? Can you be submissive? Hallelujah. I'm not telling you to let him trample over you, but I'm telling you, can you humble yourself? Hallelujah. To somebody who treats you good and that loves you like the scripture says, hallelujah, that he should love his wife. Uh, hallelujah. So you, so it's easy for you to be submissive in that time. Can you really do that? Um, hallelujah. Uh, you going to say, I ain't get up and fix you no breakfast. What's wrong with you? Amen. Amen. So when you ask for a husband, you better be ready. Amen. You better know that you can be submissive. You better understand and know that you can follow his command. Sometimes he tell me stuff and I be like, I ain't doing it. <laughs> and I give him that look. And then I turn around and walk away and God say, boop. Boop. Who was you talking to? I was talking to Bishop. <laughs> and then I have to go back. I'm sorry, honey, what, what did you tell me? What did you tell me? <laughs> Hallelujah. But this is the reason why I was saying so and so, so and so, so and so. You know, and I go through the whole scenario and he just sit there and look like this. He gave me the bishop look. <laughs> Amen. And then I have to get myself straight. And I be saying the whole time, I don't want it. I don't want to do this. He told me to do it. To, to tell me something. I'm grown. And I just look, and I say, but if I don't go in there and do it, I'm going to be done fell down the steps or something, because the words say, touch not my anointed, to do my prophet no harm. <laughs> Amen. Honey, I'm trying to tell you, even though you married, that scripture will work you. Hallelujah. So you have to behave holy, even when you don't want to. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And it says you should be a compliant and law-abiding. Hallelujah. And, and God is still working with, with me on that law-abiding thing. Because I get mad when people get in front of me and they're going too slow. I mean, why you want to pull in front of me? I, and, I, and, I, and, 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 and it's, I'm trying to tell you, it's from the pulpit to the door, honey. Because you have to be law-abiding. You have to check yourself. Because I'd be like, oh, no, he didn't. You pulled in front of me. And I'm still driving. You know. Road rage. Get going too slow in front of me. I'm on my way to work. Knowing that I really don't want to go to work. Amen. Amen. But God, God is working with me, y'all. So y'all pray for me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because I'm still trying to behave holy. Hallelujah. So with all saying all of those things, it brings to mind. Hallelujah. One or two women in the Bible that uh, was behaving holy. Hallelujah. One of them that came to my mind is Ruth. Hallelujah. She was unswerving and she was selfless. That selfless devotion to, to Naomi. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And she carried herself in a way, even though her husband was dead. Hallelujah. She didn't leave her mother-in-law. Hallelujah. And, and by her not doing that, she was in line for a blessing. Hallelujah. So sometimes in your life, even if it's something that you don't want to do, you have to be able to just... Uh, 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 be subservient. You have to be submissive. You have to make yourself, hallelujah, do, be selfless and be devoted. Hallelujah. And, and Ruth was just that. Uh, everywhere Naomi would go, Ruth was right there with her. Hallelujah. And, 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 and even when Naomi told her, go home to your people. 
and she might have been a little bit upset. Amen. And but she said, I'm not leaving you. Oh, your people is my people. Where you going, I'm going. Hallelujah. And she walked right on in there with a subservient, self, selfless, devoted, hallelujah, self. She took herself right on over there, hallelujah, and, and, and worked in Boaz's field. Hallelujah. And she was working, hallelujah, when the man, hallelujah, discovered her. Hallelujah. He said, ooh, that, that, who that girl? Amen. Uh, we'll, we'll leave some extra little stuff for her. She's she working hard. I, I like how she worked. Hallelujah. And being, being obedient, hallelujah, she did exactly what her, what her mother-in-law told her to do. She said, go and lay at his feet. Hallelujah. How much more submissive can you be, hallelujah, by laying, hallelujah, at the man's feet? Uh, hallelujah. And that's what I want to tell you on today. Hallelujah. In order for you to behave holy, hallelujah, you got to submit yourself to Christ Jesus. Uh, hallelujah. You've got to Stop all your stinking thinking. Hallelujah. And you got to look to the hills from which cometh your help. Because huh? my help cometh from the Lord. Huh? You got to know who it is uh, that is your source. Huh? Hallelujah. You got to know who it is. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That will do the things that you need to have done. Uh, hallelujah. The one that will love you uh, unconditionally. Uh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. And so we find ourselves uh, on in this day and time. Hallelujah. Going through many things. Uh, hallelujah. We're on our jobs. Hallelujah. And we have to do what our bosses tell us to do. Uh, even when it's wrong. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We have to do those things. Uh, and so when we behave, hallelujah, in a holy way, uh, we just go ahead and do it. Ah, uh, little Shabbasata. Hallelujah. But I'm trying to tell you uh, that on today, uh, there are many times when I have to do things uh, that I do not want to do. Uh, Hallelujah, hallelujah. But I know what the word of God says. Uh, hallelujah. He says for us to be discreet, uh, to be to act in a holy way. Uh, hallelujah. So that I can teach uh, somebody else who's looking at me. Uh, I can teach the younger girls. Uh, hallelujah. How the older girls uh, are supposed to act. Uh, and even when I want to say something, uh, hallelujah, I have to keep my mouth shut. Uh, and by me keeping my mouth shut, uh, Hallelujah, hallelujah. God has blessed me. Oh, I want, to I want you to understand. Hallelujah. That about seven years ago, hallelujah, I was a, one, I was a person who was not liked very well. Hallelujah. Because I was asked by a young gentleman to marry him, and I did so. And some other people treated me very ugly. Hallelujah. And me being a fighter. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I wanted to fight. I wanted to buck up. Uh, hallelujah. And I wanted to show them uh, how this little Cleveland girl could throw down. Uh, hallelujah. But God wouldn't let me. Uh, he spoke to me uh, and he said, Gloria, uh, I want you to love them. Uh, just love them. Uh, keep your mouth shut and love them. Uh, and because uh, I love them. Uh, hallelujah, even from a distance. Uh, and I kept all of my thoughts to myself. Uh, oh, Lord, uh, he blessed me. Uh, now, uh, seven years later, uh, all the ones uh, that cursed me, uh, the ones that treated me ugly, uh, are now uh, loving me. Uh, I'm able to speak to them. Uh, I'm able to sit in the same company. Uh, oh, God, uh, I'm telling you, uh, God has flipped that thing around. Now the ones who were attacking me are coming to me even for godly counsel. I'm trying to tell you, when you behave holy, nothing, nothing will separate you from the love of God. Nothing that God, hallelujah, that God will we serve will allow you not to do. He will allow you to have things. Oh, Lord, uh, he will allow you to have things uh, and acquire things uh, that you've never had before. Uh, oh, Lord, he'll let you uh, uh, go into places uh, that you've never been before. Uh, I'm trying to tell you uh, because uh, I 
was acting holy. I was behaving like a woman should behave. I kept on praying. I kept on praising. I wouldn't say nothing bad about nobody. Oh, Lord, God has blessed me. I walked in two. Oh, Lord, Bible Way churches. Hallelujah. I came into the back door, sat on the back bench, praising God. Ha, doing the work of God ha, never looking to my left or my right ha, just praising God ha, giving him glory ha, getting on my face ha, at 12 o'clock noon every day ha, and he moved me quickly ha, hallelujah in this Bible way ha, organization ha, took me from the back door ha, made me ha, hallelujah a servant to one of the bishops oh lord and I was so happy oh lord to carry his books pick up his shoes whatever needed to be done wash the car hallelujah I didn't care what it was but I was working out my own soul salvation I was doing what I needed to do hallelujah clean up the floor oh god clean the bathroom paint the wall I didn't care what it was I just wanted to be in the house of God doing Doing the things of God, huh? behaving as if, huh? oh Lord, the church belonged to me. Huh? Now, huh? oh Lord, huh? seven years later, huh? the God that I serve, huh? oh he blessed me, huh? took the man of God huh? that I was serving huh? and made him huh? my Boaz. Huh? I'm trying to tell you, huh? oh, about God. Huh? I'm trying to tell you huh? who God is. And what he'll do for you. Bless me on top of blessing. Gave me six more children. I didn't sweat. Not one time to have. Oh, Lord. But I bless the God that I serve. Oh, Lord. Behaving. Holy. Watching what I say. Ha, who I say it to ha, I'm trying to tell you ha, He allowed me ha, To be obedient ha, You see I understand ha, Just how Queen Esther ha, Felt ha, Hallelujah ha, Queen Esther ha, Oh she was the one ha, Hallelujah that came into the palace hallelujah just to be looked at and I'm trying to tell you that many times women all you got to do is mind your own business and be about God's business don't worry about the stuff that's going around and because she was minding her own business and doing what she needed to do wow the king was looking at her ah he became uh, so interested in her uh, and she was his favorite uh, and then 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 uh, before you knew it uh, Queen Esther uh, became queen uh, hallelujah uh, kicked old Vashti uh, out the way uh, cause Vashti uh, wasn't a real queen anyway uh, she was just a perpetrator uh, perpetrating a position uh, that belonged to Queen Esther uh, but Queen Esther uh, took over that position and she never, never, never did she become ooh, out loud obnoxious to her husband she would come to him when she needed to speak to him and hold out his until they took it giving her permission to speak I'm trying to tell you that's what you got to do oh, to God you got to go to him as discreetly as you can lay down on your face and tell him all about your issues you don't come to Jesus being all bold and because Queen Esther took the position that she did she found favor again with the old king and that's how her people got saved hallelujah hallelujah because she was behaving holy she was discreet in what she said she watched 
and she prayed. Don't get it twisted because she had said to them, I'm going to go to the king and if I die, I just die. But before she went to him, she fasted and she prayed. Oh, Lord. Who did she pray to? She wasn't praying to Mordecai. She wasn't praying to the king. She called on the name of the Lord. Knowing, hallelujah, hallelujah, that the prayers of the righteous avail as much. Yes, she behaved holy and she called on God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. And then she went. After she got permission, you see, in the scripture, it don't really tell you that when Esther, hallelujah, fasted and prayed, that God really answered her. Hallelujah, hallelujah. He didn't tell her. Now, Esther, go on in there to the king and tell him it's exactly what you want because you're going to get it. No, 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 no. God gave her a spirit of discernment. Hallelujah. And when you are discreet, hallelujah, you have a spirit of discernment and of good judgment and how you should conduct yourself. Hallelujah. Because the way that's time had conducted herself it's the reason why she got the boot hallelujah hallelujah but I'm here to tell you humble yourself to the Lord your God Hallelujah. And pray. And pray always. Don't allow the enemy to trick you, to make you think that you can just go to God and tell him, oh, yeah, yeah, well, see, you know, God, you know, you my dude. Yeah, and this is what I need. And, um, yeah, you know, I was praying to you the other day, and I told you that I needed so-and-so, so-and-so. And what's up? You didn't do that because of this. Other. No, 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 no. Didn't say it like that. It said for you to humble yourself. Be discreet. Act holy. Show God his reverence. Hallelujah. You see, the God that we serve is an omnipotent God. He has all power in his hand. He can do exactly what he want to do, when he want to do it, and how he wants to do it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, when you go to him, laying on your face, you can't get no higher, and you can't get no lower on your face. And let him know that I reverence you. You see, oh Lord, it said that our God is a jealous God. And if he be a jealous God, hallelujah, he love for you to make over him. That's when you tell him all the beautiful and wonderful things about himself. You are my God. You're awesome. You're almighty. Oh, you are graceful, righteous, good teacher. You're the one that sits high and looks low. You're the lily of the valley. Don't you know a lily in the valley is a mighty pretty thing? Hallelujah. God wants you to make over him. And as you make over him, you're behaving in a godly way. You're behaving, hallelujah, in a holiness way. Hallelujah. Because you're showing him just how devoted you are to him. Hallelujah. So pray. Hallelujah. And let him know, Lord, I love you because you're the king of kings. You're the Lord of lords. You are the mighty God. You are zealous and unique. You are the miracle worker. You're good in every situation. Because I want you to know the enemy doesn't. I want you to pray to God like that. He wants you to think that when you're going through a hard time, that your God is a chump. And you a chump too. But I'm here to tell you, enemy of mine called Satan. Ha, hallelujah. Ha, you better back up. Because I serve a God ha, who cannot fail. Ha, I serve a God ha, who sits high and looks low. Ha, I serve a God. Ha, who is omniscient, ha, knows all things, ha, hallelujah. Ha, and so whatever it is that I need, ha, I can get from him by using wisdom and behaving holy. Holiness is right. 
Holiness is right. The way you dress when you leave home in the morning, just ask God, am I pleasing in your sight? Ask him the many small things. Hallelujah. Because it's the small things that count when you're behaving holy. Behave holy. Be discreet, women. Be an example for the younger women so that they know. And even while you carry yourself in a discreetful way, in a way of holiness, you set an example even for the young men. Because then they know what to look for in a woman. Amen? Amen? Behave holy. Behave holy. Stand to your feet. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I bless you for this day. I thank you, Lord God, for allowing your people to behave holy, Lord God. Father, created them a right spirit and a clean heart. Allow them to see the things that's not like you in their lives. God, and go to you and ask you to straighten them, oh God. Work with them, Lord. Hallelujah. From the pulpit to the door, oh God. Show us your love in a way like never before, Lord God. I've fallen in love with you, Lord, all over again. Because you are God, and there is none like you. Lord God, we pray for the women today that are here, Lord God. This is the woman-to-woman -woman conference, Lord God. Hallelujah. And we're asking you, Lord God, from woman to woman, Lord God, that you would do a mighty thing in their life, creating them, Lord God, a spirit that's conducive to you, Lord. Hallelujah. Others seeing you in them, O oh God. Father, if there's any that are sick in their body, in the mighty name of Jesus, oh Lord God, we ask, oh God, that you would heal according to your scripture, Lord God, in Psalms 103, Lord God. Hallelujah. You are the one, hallelujah, that heals us of all of our diseases, Lord God. Oh Father, we bless you and we praise you for what you're going to do. Father, we ask that you would strengthen their minds. Oh, Rabaser, strengthen their minds in a way like never before, God. God, there are some things that are out of order because something is missing. Because something that someone said to someone, hallelujah, when they were a young child. Oh, Rabaser, God, we destroy the yoke of that thing right now. And we cast it into the pit of hell from which it come, Lord God. And we loose your spirit, hallelujah, of self-confidence and self-esteem, Lord God. Build them up, Lord God. Let them walk, hallelujah, in a way like never before, oh God. Let them minister to their children and to their husbands and to their friends, Lord God, in a way like never before. God, give them scriptures, Lord God, so that they may be able to speak them even if they have never read it, God. Give them a scripture to minister to the people that they meet, oh God. Father, allow the mother in them to come out. No matter how young they are or how old they are, let the mother in them come out. The people who that they meet on the street, God. The ones, hallelujah, that seem like they're homeless, lifeless, Lord. Let them speak life into your people. Lead them to the rock. Hallelujah. We bless you for what you're going to do, God. We thank you, Lord. Father, while I pray today, Lord God, I ask that you would bless this pastor, Lord God. In a way like never before. God, Father God, oh, I ask for special blessings upon him today, Lord Jesus. Father, you hear the words that he speaks when he lays his head on the pillow at night, the God. You see the discouragement. But Lord God, let him know that nothing that he does is in vain. Oh Father, open up the doors of this place called Agape Ministries, Lord God. Let the floodgates open and the waters of you and life run into this place. 
Oh God, please start our door. Feed them, Lord. Feed them, Lord. He should come to the house. Feed them, God, like never before. Father, give him a fresh word. Give him a fresh word, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. And as he began to pray to you, Lord God, and preach your word, O God. Lord God, that he'll be able to minister to the whole man, to the whole woman, child, God. That they will be healed. When he lay his hand on them, healing the go from the crown of their head to the sole of their feet. They'll feel the power of God. Oh God, we thank you for what you're going to do. Now, Lord, I ask that you bless, oh God, my bishop, my husband, my Lord. Bless him, in a way like never before, God. We thank you, oh God, for the length of life that you've given him, that you shared with me, Orobashata. I thank you for sharing him with me, God. We bless you, Lord. Father, don't forget about Bishop Hollins, Lord. Bless him, oh God. Straighten things out. In a way like never before, God. Oh, Lord. We thank you. We pray, Lord God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And we bind the spirit of revenge, retribution, and backlash in the mighty name of Jesus. And we loose the power of you, Lord. Prasado. In their life, God. We release prosperity from you in their life. Kill him, Aretha. In Jesus' mighty name. And we say amen.